Hello my dear students, I am Sunila from Department of Physics, Government College, Madapalli. In our previous lecture, we learned about rotating diagram and how different components of wave or frequency components superimpose together and form a pulse. Now, we have to check what is the time duration of a pulse. In our last class, we learned that a pulse exists only for a short time interval. That means the psi of t, that means the amplitude of the wave is substantial only for a small time interval. What is this time interval? We already, in the when we studied the rotating vector diagram, we assume that all frequency components in the wave at initially all are in same phase or same phase constant. As time goes on, each frequency components vary or moves with their own pace. And finally, after a small time interval, all these frequency components distributed uniformly over the rotating vector diagram. Then that, that, that time, the uh, initial time t equal to 0 to when all the frequency components uniformly distributed over the rotating vector diagram is called the duration of a pulse. So now we have to find out the expression for time duration of a pulse. So assume that there are n frequency components. These frequencies lie between omega 1 and omega 2. There are n frequency components with frequencies lying between omega 1 and omega 2. Omega 1 is the lowest frequency whereas omega 2 is the highest frequency. Now, suppose that all these frequency components have same amplitude A, same amplitude, amplitude is same and same phase constant. That means phase constant. Phase constant. Uniformly through the rotating vector diagram. That means, suppose 
this is the rotating vector diagram then all frequency components distributed uniformly throughout the rotating vector diagram initially all these frequency components are in same phase and start from the same points but later after a time interval t1 all these are distributed uniformly in this rotating vector diagram now this time interval starting from t equal to 0 to t equal to t1 gives the pulse what percent the pulse that means the amplitude of the superposed wave is substantial within this time interval t equal to 0 to t equal to t1 after this time interval there will not be no time when all these frequency components are in equal phase so never comes the maximum value which we have at t equal to uh, at our maximum amplitude so the situation is completely different you get only a small pulse like this shape this time interval this is from t equal to 0 and this is up to t equal to t1 this time interval only this time interval all the frequency components superimposed together and we get a superimposed substantial value for psi of t ok now we can represent these things mathematically for that we know that the maximum frequency is omega 2 and the minimum frequency is omega 1 so there is a frequency band omega 2 minus omega 1 which we can call as delta omega so this frequency band is delta omega this n components this n frequency of oscillations distributed uniformly within this frequency band so each component that means each delta omega is equal to delta omega by n minus 1 because delta omega this delta omega represents the frequency band maximum minus minimum values so this represents the band within this band n frequency components uniformly distributed so delta omega by n minus 1 so each component has difference between them by the frequency this delta omega ok now we can check what happens when this component moves to 2 pi radian in phase that means this frequency these frequency components moves through the frequency band delta omega through the time interval delta t delta omega delta t this is equal to 2 pi this is equal to 2 pi that means the frequency components lying in between omega 2 and omega 1 omega 2 and omega 1 distributed uniformly through the rotating vector diagram and it can complete one phase through delta omega delta t which is equal to 2 pi in this contrast we know that delta t is given by t1 delta t delta t is given by t1 so delta omega t1 equal to 2 pi now we get the expression delta omega t1 equal to 2 pi but, del but you know that delta omega is 2 pi delta nu 2 pi delta nu delta t equal to 2 pi from this we get the result delta nu delta t equal to 1 delta nu delta t equal 
equal to 1. This result is an important result because this is the condition for the formation of a pulse. So here we found that all frequency components distributed through the rotating vector diagram by the phase over in phase through 2 pi radian. This result compared to the expression delta nu delta t equal to 1. Now in more general case we can write this expression as delta nu delta t greater than or equal to 1. Delta nu delta t greater than or equal to 1. From where this non-equality non comes? That is the question. That is, we know that initially all frequency components are, are with same amplitude and same phase constant. We assume that all frequency components have same amplitude A and same phase constant 0. So, you get the minimum condition delta E, delta nu, delta t equal to 1. Usually, we can't fix the phase constant as 0. There is random phase constants. This variation in the phase constants causes broadening of the uh, spreading of the spectrum. So, this delta t never comes to its minimum value. It's a bit more broader. That is why we represent this by delta nu delta t greater than or equal to 1. As this delta t gets more larger, the spectrum becomes more uh, spread, more spread. So, what happens? And for large delta t, for large delta t, the spectrum is spread like this. So, this is the time interval delta t. For very large delta t, for very large delta t, spectrum much more broader. So, what happens? Here, for minimum condition, that is when delta nu delta t equal to 1, our superimposed wave is looks like this. Here it is a we can identify a region where this amplitude is very high. This duration we call it as delta t. So when all phase constants are equal or and with same amplitude, the frequency components superimpose together and we get a picture like this. Okay, so then this condition matching with delta nu delta t equal to 1. But if we start with frequency components with different phase constants, the situation is not like this. In that case, there may not be a situation where all frequency components uh, comes together its maximum value at the same time. So, never comes this much amplitude, very high amplitude in these two cases. So here is also a pulse but with a broader uh, broader pulse. In this case even if we can't say that there is a pulse because it is much more broader. So delta nu delta t equal to 1 represent a very good pulse. As this delta t increases delta nu delta t greater than 1 is the situation then as delta t increases there may not be a pulse for large delta t. Hope that you get what we meant by this time duration of a pulse. That is what we want to say is that all n frequency components. We assumed first that there are n oscillations with frequencies lying between omega 1 and omega 2. These n frequency of oscillations superimpose together and forms a wave packet or pulse. Now, for simplicity, we assumed that the amplitudes of all components are 
A and all of them have same phase 0 and at initial at t equal to 0 they start uh, superimposed together then each component moves with different velocity because each of them has their own frequency so they moves with different uh, velocity so in the rotating vector diagram all these frequency components uniformly distributed through the rotating vector diagram after that it never comes to its maximum value again the superimposed amplitude never comes to its maximum value again this is we already learned in our previous lecture rotating vector diagram now in this section we make a theoretical uh, background for our rotating vector model so here we assume that the frequency difference between this omega 2 and omega 1 is represented by delta omega frequency band and each frequency component small delta omega each frequency component distributed through the frequency band by delta omega by n minus 1 ok now all these things combine together we conclude that delta omega delta t is equal to 2 pi delta omega delta t is equal to 2 pi that means delta nu delta t equal to 1 this is the minimum condition more generally i have already told you delta nu delta t greater than or equal to 1 is more general condition thank you